So what is going on here? Where are my dreamsicles? What's up Royals, I'm Kai, hope you're doing well. And today you're gonna to see a project that I damn well near gave up on, but I decided to take one more crack at it and it is my dreamsicle project. You're gonna see the results right here. I've been looking forward to cutting this clutch. Uh, this should hopefully yield some dreamsicles. This is the first time I think, no, this is the second time I put this pair together. Last year, this same pair only gave me one healthy egg. And I was really lucky that one healthy egg was a dream sickle. Uh, this time we did get a few slugs, but I think because the male, which is a dream sickle that I produced myself, he is a little bit bigger this season. So I think we got a, more eggs because of that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start cutting these. There's the baby, I can feel it. So we are on day 55. Um, they didn't pip, none of the eggs have pipped. But what I'm gonna do is make one incision just along the top. I'm not gonna go too crazy with the big flap. And hopefully we'll get some dream sickles out of here. Now they're all gonna be pied for sure because Mom is a pastel pied het dream, het lavender, and the dad is a dreamsicle. I don't know if he is a pastel or not. This seems like a pastel. It could be a regular pied, but it seems like it's pretty bright. So maybe this is a pastel. The blacks are very crisp, that's for sure. So let's move on to the next one. By the way, you guys probably can hear some rodents in the background. Um, some of them are being fed to. Some of them are still in their holding tub, going to be fed to. I heard that it was a good idea to have the smell of rodents in the air, especially during like hatching time. Um, it kind of gets the hatchlings used to the smell. I don't know how true that is. Ooh, okay. So this is another pied. So this looks like a normal pied. You can see that there's more of a tannish, orangish color to it as opposed to this one over here. This one seems a lot brighter and the blacks are crisper. And don't worry about the red veins. We're trying to miss on nicking them, but even if they do get cut, it doesn't hurt the animal. Yeah, like I said, I'm just doing a slight slit um, along the top as opposed to my usual flaps. No real rhyme or reason, I'm just... Since they didn't pip, I just don't feel like cutting a big... a big flap along the top. Come on, dreamsicle! Where's all my dreamsicles? So far, I produced... one, which is the dad and one last season, so two males so far, and I have not produced any other dream sickles since. Um, that's another pied. So what's good about using a double visual in the pairing is that all these pieds, if they're not lavender, then they're 100% het for lavender. Only two eggs left. Come on, what's going on? I should have half this clutch should be should be vi double visuals. Half the clutch. 
and we are beyond half the clutch already. So what is going on here? Where are my dream sickles? Ooh, I see a lot of yellow. Wow, look how bright that is. Whoa, that's my dream sickle right there. And it's low white, it appears to be low white. Look at that pattern, look at the whites. The white's gonna be, be like really, really white when it first comes out and then it's gonna turn more of a lavender color. That's why they're called lavender albinos. What a dream. That is so cool. Yes, we got one and I'm hoping for a female. I have yet to produce a female dream sickle. I got two males, but not a female and I need a female. I had the opportunity to buy a female, but that was when I had a clutch of dreamsicles in the incubator. So, so I let that chance ride and uh, shot myself in the foot because I didn't get a female dreamsicle from that clutch. So yes, another dreamsicle. Again, low white which is what I like. So we got two, oops, it's gushing. So we got two dreamsicles. Oh, please let them be female. At least one, at least one. Oh, that is awesome. So I got two. Well, that's more like it. I guess the odd gods have answered my call. So, cause there's five eggs, you can't split it evenly down the center. So it would be great if we got three dreamsicles and two pies, but I will take what I got. So check this out. This is the first one. This is a regular pied and it is 100% het for dream. Sorry, 100% het for lavender. Um, I think this is a boy, not sure. Let's see. Yep, that's a boy. Uh, there is one still in the egg. I don't think it's going to make it. Um, it's kind of an in-between a regular and a pastel pied. It's really hard to tell. I think something went on with, uh, with that one during development. Um, usually when you see some funky pattern, when it's, when it's cool looking, um, that, that weirdness sometimes comes with um, some development issues which accounts for why the pattern is also weird. So like I said, it's in between this and what a pastel would look like. All right, so let me move on to the next one. Now this one is an obvious pastel pied, and I believe this is a female. Um, she is 100% het for lavender albino, and so is the last boy. So anything in this clutch that is not a visual lavender is 100% het for lavender. So that is a really, really pretty girl right there. Actually, I keep saying girl, but I do mean to reconfirm here. Nope, that's a boy. That is a boy. So not looking too good here. We have two boys, one pastel and one regular pied. Next up, what we have been waiting for, this is a dreamsicle. Just take a look at all the oranges. So cool. And this is a high white. We know this part is gonna stay white. Um, everything else in here will turn lavender. Um, sometimes there's a section of white, but we just don't know until the, the color change takes place. But yeah, this is a beautiful, lavender albino otherwise known as dreamsicle and i did want to get two but i think well that's a boy so we have one more chance to try to get a female dreamsicle and let me get that next one out for you but yeah look at that so here is the last animal oh, i think one is a female I really do. I think one is a female. I don't know why I didn't put that one away. But let's check. Oh, 
thankfully. Oh, thank, thank God. All right, so we got two lavender albinos. I just got to remember, take a mental note here. The one with uh, a white band, the larger white band is the male. And this one over here, the one with the smaller white band, at least I think that's a white band, is the female. But yeah. Ooh, finally, finally a female dreamsicle. Hey, I'll take it. So I finally managed to hit one female dreamsicle after three breeding seasons. Should I take that as a sign to keep moving forward? Let me know down in the comments below. That about wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and you want to be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share and remember, Royals for life. Peace out.